Elon Musk asks Jeff Bezos to make an important choice. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is continuing to grow his status as the world's richest man as his net worth is skyrocketing over the rest of the top earners in 2022. In the latest Forbes list, Musk increased his net worth to $282 billion, followed by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, whose net worth comes at $183.6 billion, reports the Daily Mail. Join us today in this video as we talk about the top billionaires' contentions. You can pause for a moment to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive more interesting content from this channel. Musk was one of chief beneficiaries from the COVID-19 pandemic, a report mentions as he knocked Bezos off the top of the Forbes rich list. Musk is now 115 billion richer than LVMH CEO Bernard Arnold, the third richest man in the world with a net worth of $167.4 billion, the report said. He is also well past the numbers for Microsoft founders Bill Gates, which is at $134.2 billion, and Steve Ballmer with $97 billion, it added. But actually, the bone of contention is settled between the two top, Musk and Bezos. The two men also have so far had different styles. Musk is a brawler and a go-getter. Nothing animates him but to provoke controversies. He answers tit for tat and does not back down from any opponent. In addition, Musk loves to fight his fights in public on the social network Twitter which is now his property. Bezos was known for his discretion and very rarely displayed his opinions. He has often ignored the attacks of politicians, in particular ex-president Donald Trump who had made Bezos and Amazon his favorite targets. Recently, the two richest men in the world appear to have teamed up against a common adversary. It is rare. Last month, they agreed on a private sector solution to help solve San Francisco's homeless problem. Quote unquote, convert Twitter SFHQ to homeless shelter since no one shows up anyway, Bezos tweeted to Musk on April 9th. He referred to a similar solution Amazon implemented in Seattle, quote unquote, great idea, Musk responded. Tesla and Amazon also have in common that they are anti-union strongholds. Biden administration is pushing for a revival of unionism in big companies and thus supporting employees who try to form unions, but the two bosses would have nothing to do with that. Bezos has since become a bit more active on Twitter. The mogul has been interacting for a few days with his 4.3 million followers and gives his opinion on various subjects. Above all, he has become more combative in the face of politics politicians and in particular President Joe Biden, whom he has not stopped criticizing in recent days. Quote unquote, the newly created disinformation board should review this tweet. Bezos commented after Biden tweeted on May 13 that to bring down inflation, wealthiest corporations should pay their fair share of taxes. Quote unquote, in fact, the administration tried hard to inject even more stimulus into an already overheated inflationary economy and only mansions saved them from themselves. Inflation is a regressive tax that most hurts the least affluent. Misdirection doesn't help the country, Bezos wrote on May 15. About Bezos' criticism, Musk seemed to agree with his billionaire peer, quote unquote, the honest reason inflation is that high, the government printed a zillion amount of more money than it had, the serial entrepreneur said during a video appearance at the All In Summit in Miami Beach. For Musk and Bezos, it was the stimulus to help consumers at the time of the pandemic that caused inflation. Basically, the responsible culprit for the surge of your recent grocery store receipts is the federal government. But the seemingly white smoke of union has not done away with their long-lived rivalry. Musk himself seems to encourage it. He clashes with Bezos in particular in the conquest of space via the respective companies SpaceX and Blue Origin. Quote unquote, if he wants to get orbit, less partying and more work would be advisable. This is what Musk said following questions from users including a very interesting one about Bezos. Quote unquote, do you think Bezos is generally a good person? Elon Musk said he's intentionally trying to provoke Jeff Bezos so Blue Origin makes more progress. It's the latest in a 15-year feud between the world's richest men. Bezos had launched Amazon five years prior to the company had going public in 1997. In the year 2000, Bezos launched Blue Origin, a new startup focused on human spaceflight.
About this time, Musk had already sold Zip2, a startup he launched with his brother Kimball to Compaq for roughly $300 million. Musk was in the process of building PayPal while would later be sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. He made about $160 million off the PayPal sale and used that money to launch SpaceX in 2002. The Musk-Bezos rivalry appears to date back to 2004 when the two CEOs met for dinner. Their discussion about their respective reusable rocket ambitions apparently did not go well. I actually did my best to give good advice, which he largely ignored. Musk said after the meeting, according to Christian Davenport's book, The Space Barons. Concord, from there onwards, Musk and Bezos appeared to keep to themselves, but their rivalry continued in 2013 when things became contentious over leasing a NASA launchpad. SpaceX tried to get exclusive use of a NASA launchpad. Blue Origin, along with rival United Launch Alliance, filed a formal protest with the government to prevent SpaceX from using the pad. Bezos proposed converting it into a commercial spaceport available to all launch companies. Musk called the move a quote unquote phony blocking tactic and took another swipe at Blue Origin. Quote unquote, Blue Origin has not yet succeeded in creating a reliable suborbital spacecraft despite spending over 10 years in development, Musk told Space News at the time. Quote unquote, if they do somehow show up in the next five years with a vehicle qualified to NASA's human rating that can dock with the space station, we will gladly accommodate their needs. SpaceX eventually won the right to take over the pad. In 2014, the two companies got into a patent battle when Blue Origin was granted a patent for drone ships, which are used for landing rocket boosters. SpaceX petitioned to invalidate the patent, and the judge sided with them, leading to Blue Origin withdrawing most of the claims and the patent. In recent years, Musk and Bezos have been more public about their feud, taking their rivalry to Twitter. Musk poked at Bezos in 2019 after the unveiling of Blue Origin's concept for a lunar landing vehicle called Blue Moon. Quote unquote, putting the word blue on a ball is questionable branding, he tweeted. Musk later mocked up a screenshot of a New York Times article that changed the name from Blue Moon to Blue Balls. A few months ago, NASA picked up six satellite companies, including Musk, SpaceX, and Project Quipper, to develop space communication services in Earth orbit. The companies will receive a total of $278.5 million for their efforts. Quipper Government Solutions has been awarded $67 million. Project Quipper is a planned network of more than 3,000 satellites built to beam broadband internet to remote regions. Blue Origin, Bezos' space exploration company, will help with Amazon's plan to build a network of 3,236 satellites in low Earth orbit to provide global internet service. SpaceX, which has more than 2,000 satellites in orbit, was awarded about $70 million. And how they will achieve this without staging as always another arena for push and pull is all about wait and see. But the advantage of this rivalry is positive for the conquest of space and Musk is aware of it. This is what must undoubtedly explain his sharp criticism of Bezos. He perhaps wants to use competition as a game plan to reach his space goals. But all these shows how space has become just like any other business and the fight to orbit like any other cold-blooded capitalist slugfest.